we have completed unit impulse signal the next type of signal is unit step signal unit step signal is represented by ut and it is also known as heavy side step function it is also known as heavy side step function named after oliver heavy side ut is equal to 0 when time t is less than 0 and it is equal to 1 when time t is greater than 0 ut is not defined not defined at time t equal to 0 and by using this definition we can easily plot the waveform of unit step signal so let's plot the waveform of unit step signal ut when time t is less than 0 ut is equal to 0 and when time t is greater than 0 ut is equal to 1 so we have 1 as the value of ut when time t is greater than 0 when t is equal to 0 ut is not defined so this is the waveform of unit step signal and for simplicity we consider ut equal to 1 when time t is equal to 0 so I will modify the definition when time t is equal to 0 or greater than 0 ut is equal to 1 so we have ut equal to 1 when time t is equal to 0 now why we call this signal unit step signal because it look like step of a staircase the next part of this lecture is the properties of unit step signal in the first property we will perform the time reversal to obtain u minus t the original signal is ut and let's say we have a signal xt which is equal to ut plus u minus t then we have to find out signal xt let's see how we can find out signal xt i will first plot the waveform of signal ut then I will plot the waveform of signal u minus t and to obtain u minus t we have to perform the time reversal or folding I will perform the time reversal or folding to find out u minus t and the waveform will look like this and then we have to add ut and u minus t to obtain xt and on adding we have the waveform like this this is the waveform of signal xt for all the values of time t xt is going to be 1 so this is the answer but there is one confusion in this result when time t is equal to 0 you can see ut is equal to 1 I will write this down when time t is equal to 0 signal ut is equal to 1 and u minus t is also equal to 1 at time t equal to 0 u minus t is also equal to 1 so xt is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 so in this waveform when time t is equal to 0 xt must be 2 but it is not true so how we obtained xt equal to 1 at time t equal to 0 we have obtained this by using the phenomenon known as Gibbs phenomenon the Gibbs phenomenon according to Gibbs phenomenon at the point of discontinuity the signal value is given by the average of signal value taken just before and after the point of discontinuity and we have the value of signal before discontinuity equal to 1 and value of signal after discontinuity equal to 1 so the average the average is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 so signal xt is equal to 1 at time t equal to 0 because time t equal to 0 is the point point of discontinuity I hope the first property is clear to you now we will move to the second property in the second property we will find out 
whether the unit step signal is energy signal or power signal we already know the average power p is equal to limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t integration from minus t to t mod xt square dt and uh, here xt is equal to ut so limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t inside the bracket integration from minus t to 0 ut is equal to 0 so integration of 0 plus from 0 to t ut is equal to 1 so integration of 1 now we will solve the integration limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t inside the bracket integration of 1 is equal to t the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is t on solving you will have 1 by 2 so average power p is equal to 1 by 2 watts in case of unit step signal and 1 by 2 is finite this means the total energy is equal to infinity you can also calculate the total energy by using the formula integration from minus infinity to infinity mod xt square dt when you solve this you will have total energy e equal to infinity let's find out rms value rms value is equal to under root average power p average power p is equal to 1 by 2 so we have under root 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 by root 2 so this is the rms value of unit step signal in the third property in the third property we will find out whether unit step signal is odd signal or even signal ut is not equal to u minus t and it is also not equal to minus u minus t this is the condition of even signals and this is the condition of odd signals and unit step signal is not satisfying either of these two conditions so unit step signal is neither even signal nor odd signal so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one